You know how you can tell when you're the world's greatest spy? Lance Starling. Lance Sterling. Lance Sterling. Everyone knows the name. La 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 la. Don't take the loss so hard. I mean, you got to meet Lance Sterling. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead back to work. Go ahead back to work. It's too, it's too much. It's probably the right amount. But still go back to work. Agent Sterling. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I've been working on this thing at home. It is going to change spying forever. It's called biodynamic concealment. Imagine if I can make you wait for it. Drum roll, please. Disappear. 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 Why are you saying it like that? For effect. That next generation concealment tech, you wouldn't happen to have it on hand, would you? I do happen to have it in hand. Show it to me. Sure. Um. Well, can I offer you a drink? I got uh, water, drinkable meal replacement. Mmm, we had a drink. Blah. Diet stuff has a weird aftertaste. What, what's the tech? Um, well, you just drank it. Ah! Oh! What's happening to my head? Ah! It worked. Subject appears disoriented. Walter, what did you do? Hey, Lance, look at L me. Look at you? I can't not look at you, Walter. I can see my butt and your face at the same time. I'm a freak of nature, baby. No ghosts again. Pigeons are everywhere and nobody notices them. Wow, girl. It's the most perfect form a spy could take. You better unbird me right now. That's it. I'm not playing with you. Unbird. I'm raising my voice. I probably shouldn't be raising my voice at you. I need you to unbird me, Walter. Technically, you birded yourself. Oh, I'm hurt, this boy. Honey, if you wanna get freaking out. It's louder. Every day is all we have. All we have, yep. <sighs> Powerful. Maybe we ski the beast after lunch. Pete, I don't think I'm... it'll be that challenging. It'll be fine. Is that okay? Yeah. It's, it's fine. It looked like it was gonna kill us. For a and moment. the kids were screaming because it felt like we were gonna die. Pete? Wow. And I look over at Pete, and he had grabbed his phone. Pete left us. I didn't leave you to be buried. I'm gonna win. I ran to get help. Yes, I'm gonna win. That's not what happened. And I choose to survive. I love my family. Every day is all we have! How could I run away in ski boots? What? Can you run in ski boots? Not very well. Boom. Exactly. Regardless, I wouldn't leave my family to die. That's boom. Yes, I am prepared. You have a right to be angry. It's black and white. Well, no, it's black and white. How old are you? 30. Oh. I won't give in. There's only one thing I have to worry about right now, and that's going down. Understand why there weren't any warnings posted anywhere. There was a warning. What? Posted at lifts, gondolas, hotel receptions, restaurants, shops, bars, soda machines, toilets. We didn't see any of that. Well. Why don't we see ghosts every day? Oh, leave me alone. Most hauntings are so small, they go unnoticed. Hi, this is Rose's driving school. Maybe you could have a chat with my daughter, just to find out what's up with her. My name is Martin. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Martin, she's floating! She's floating, Martin! I know. What is evil? <laughs> I'm doing an incantation. Now! Hear me, powers of the night. The blood moon is nigh. This bloody moon.
in bed and make me bloody rich. Yes. This is a satanic ritual. See, it is I woke up in the morning. To break the spell, we need ectoplasm. You just have to let the ghost inhabit your body. Like in Ghostbusters. Oh, I haven't read that. Just the plot thickens. Why does it have to be so unnecessarily gross? That magic! Aha! Uh -huh. Your girl's got something. Prick. Holy shit! Act really cool. Just act cool. I've got uh, two um, persons with disabilities. Two persons with disabilities and a blind guy. Visually impaired. A visually impaired gentleman. I'm 24 years old. Besides my mouth, about the only other thing that works on my body is my junk. I need to know what sex is going to be like for me. What if I told you there was a place for guys like us to get seriously laid? It's... <laughs> This guy told me about a place up in Montreal that caters to people like us. Welcome to the Chateau Bacardi. Go as you are. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. I could use a field trip. It's like a road trip. Sam the driver is a woman. We can't do this with a woman. I'm not going to a brothel with a woman. Well, it's no. too late to cancel. I'm Mo. This... Well, she's friendly. My parents. Toss it out the window. They can track us. It's the cost of freedom. Mo, yeah. Can you throw my phone Mo, out? Fight. Do it. It's my SIM card. I throw out my SIM card. Fuck, that's a better idea. So stupid. I want all the cards on the table right now, or we won't go anywhere. You don't get it, but guys like us, we have a tough time with women. We're just uh, virgins. Um, if you want me in the room, that's gonna be extra. What room? Yeah. In the room with the hooker. Mo! You had one thing not to say, and you said it. Spent a lot of time feeling like I was on the outside of stuff. And ever since we all started hanging out, it just feels different, like I'm included. To our road trip. No, 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 no. To our pilgrimage and to the bevy of beauties awaiting us at Le Chateau Paradis. To our boners! I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Mo, 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 Mo,